Kellogg is a straight turd. Now we left off where we invade Fort Hagen and go take care of Kellogg. And after an excruciating journey through Fort Hagen, we end up fighting and killing Kellogg. So this creates a ton of problems, but luckily Nick Valentine has a solution. So let's get into it. Neighborhood is still entering the game. I don't even know what to do next. I love how that looks though. That is, that is pretty incredible. And let's see what we got to do next on our thing though. Reunions, discuss your findings with Piper. Okay, so we could just go back to the city, Diamond City. Who Diamond City, chat? All right, listen to Valentine's Detective Agency radio. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Let's just chit chat with Piper. Hey, Piper. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? Mm. You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, what does that even mean? Your client here in that analogy. So. You two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. I guess so, Piper. What's the story? Um, we need help. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Interesting. Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> The Commonwealth's boogeyman, feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. You're so secretive. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Yeah, he's uh, dead. <laughs> whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. N okay. Um, I had no choice. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking Talk to me, crazy Nick. here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Sure. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. Interesting. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Uh, good idea. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Um... Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth. So yeah, uh, you two are coming with me. Coming with you. I have to go to the memory oh, den either okay, never way. Mind. Oh yes. Let me introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh yes. Oh wait. It's you and me, yeah. Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Come on, Nick. We're out. I'm gonna do some more research. Cool. I'll be here if you need me. Holla, Piper. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Ain't got nothing better to do. Diamond City tomorrow. All right, so we need to go to where? All right. Oh, so that's where we f we found Nick over here, didn't we? Okay, so let's just keep going this direction. Let's go into third person, baby. We got our pistol. We need some more ammo for sure. Probably should have bought some while we were back there, but yeah. Super mutant. Oh, fudge. Gotcha, buddy. How about that chat? Bottle cap rounds. I think I'm good. Okay. 
Oh, we have to go in it? Oh, shoot. Hey, well, I appreciate that, B uh, BZ. Thank you so much for uh, holding it down in here. I hope your uh, trip was great, though. Let's get up in good neighbor chat. Oh, I remember this. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking hmm. down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? Hey. Not your concern. Oh, it's not, huh? Well, with that attitude, you're going to be in the market for a little insurance. Back off. You better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody. Accidents. Really? Okay. Yeah, don't. Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap. Yeah. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said, let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Get him. Oh my gosh! Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Well, if you don't mind, I'm gonna just get a couple of these. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, you killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I like this guy. Let's see what good, good neighbor? neighbors about. Is that what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Oh, okay. Okay. Hell yeah. You go, Hancock. You go, Hancock. All right. Let's get on our way. Wow. What an awesome place. Oh, we need to go here. Memory Den. Um. Well, well. Oh. Mr. Valentine. What is going on I here? You had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Sheesh! Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Oh. Okay, let's go downstairs. Um, chat, by the way, I think I might get a little bit more involved in Fallout 76. Uh, again. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Hey, Dr. Amari. Um, Kellogg's We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please help us. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? She looks so high. <laughs> Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. Looks like a That's shrimp. A campus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. Interesting. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, go on. Or, okay, go, go on. on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is... The brain implant could fit him. Oh, so we're going to turn him into? An incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. On the world? <laughs> Thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. 
Just sit Yo, what up, Joe? Like what up, Kiwizy? Pull me out, okay? Hey, Please. Slaughterhouse. Hey, Game Bread. Welcome in, y'all. All right. I need you to keep talking oh. to me, Mr. Valentine. Let me lower the gun, any like Jeff said. Change in your cognitive functions oh. could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Okay. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. They they smart. Uh Tell way to me break it. Way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Interesting. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Her eyes look at me the entire time, but she's moving around. <laughs> Dude, she's high as a kite. All right, let's get in it. Yo, what up, Jay Fur? Uh, what's going on? Do I do anything? Oh, okay. Wave migration between the transplant and the host. Let's we'll see what's happening. Coming from the transplant, it's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we're accessing Kellogg's memories through me and Nick's brain, or whatever, whatever you call his situation. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, oh, dang. although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories. She's on that hope jet. We find one that gives us some clue to the institute's location. Oh shoot! Oh, I can walk. Interesting. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Uh, and what do I do? Remember. Oh, I just... You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Interesting. Oh, I do remember this. Turn down the... I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from dad. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Um, do I? Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life, he wasn't a complete asshole. Okay. What's up, mom? Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me and in her way and she protected me from dad <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings i never knew what happened to her after i left i didn't want to know jeez not that jeez okay this doesn't seem to be what we're looking for yeah, not there it. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. That's what I'm saying, Anna. Damn. Damn. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. 
Interesting. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. Let's see what, what Mary's up to. What made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. You'll see. Okay. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Okay. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. What up, Yasin? I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Hmm. Just so you know, they died oh, like wow. dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Bam! I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Will you sit down? Suit yourself. So what's going on? So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's... I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. That ain't what we need. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? Can I That's go? Right. We pay. Well, we seem okay. to be getting closer. I'm glad you decided oh, to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me these against things, the world. Dude. And the world had it coming. Hmm. Damn! I do what people pay me to do. Getting warmer. Manual override initiated. Ooh. Cryogenic stasis suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Interesting. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking hmm. through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder who's in this one. This is the one. Here. Open it. <coughs> Is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, baby. I'll take Sean. No, no, I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. 
Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence. What a turd, bro. What's the holdup? I'm almost I'm, finished, Callum. Uh, I just need to confirm. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Oh, there's my guy. There's my boy. Is that your son? Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the so middle of Diamond City. News, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me um, and the kid. Like a happy little family. Interesting. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. All right. Um, what do I do now? Oh, Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? Mm. As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. The glowing sea? <gasps> wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. I remember Capture this! Return or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Wait. I remember Virgil. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Oh my god, he's such a good kid. Damn! Bye. Damn! Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. What up, ZX? Pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Jeff, I remember Virgil. I remember Virgil. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm good. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Mm. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing, the glowing sea. sea. Interesting. That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. 
I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left. Yeah. Over. The hell? Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Uh, glowing sea? We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking. Mm -hmm. That or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride. Let's so go, well. Nick. Let's see where it takes us next. YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. But thank you guys so much. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.